Fortunes and Pops, and I have welcomed you to my channel. Um, I have been requested so many times to uh, show people how I make my dog food. And because <laughs> our dogs are healthy, we have three dogs that are about 60 pounds a piece, so they do eat well, and we want them to live a good long time. Uh, they're all old dogs, they're all 12, 13, and 14 years old, still going strong. So um, this one here that we're taking a picture of, she was really sick when she was seven and she almost died. So when she was, um, at, when we got her through that crisis, um, I decided that's it, I will take charge of her health. And part of that is a huge part of dog's health is nutrition. And I think nowadays people are starting to feel that, that way too. And you have to feed your dog like what you would eat. But you also have to do your research and know what um, nutrients the dog needs. So while this is all well and good, and this pretty much takes care of 100% of her nutrition, I do supplement with um, an added uh, product. And actually I'll get this, while this pretty much carries and covers their, their all their nutritional needs, there's always, um, you know, I wanna make sure, I want to be sure that she's getting fed the right way. So then I'll add a sprinkle of a, a vitamin calcium mix that is, uh, I use Nutrithrive, Nutrithrive, and I'll sprinkle that on her food. Get that for you in just a This food once a day. I normally feed her, like I said, she's about 60 pounds. So I normally feed her um, about a half a cup and she does get, uh, excuse me, about three quarters of a cup. And then she does get a quarter of a cup of kibble. The kibble that I buy for the dogs is a holistic kibble, kibble and it is from, made by Solid Gold. So our dogs are grain free. They do have some of that crunch with the kibble and they get a quarter of a cup in the morning with the kibble with the hard boiled egg every day. And they love that treat. They're all used to getting their vitamins and they're all used to getting their homemade food. So this is what I do. Um, it, the protein I switch out every time I make the food. And in this case, today we're getting a poultry-based um, uh, protein. They're gonna get turkey, ground turkey. And then if you, I'll have a link wherever you put them, there'll be a link to the bone broth that I make. And I make bone broth about twice a week. What's left out of the bone broth, including the bones that are just melt in your hands, that's all becomes part of the base for their dog food. And of course, there's so many nutrients in the bone broth itself with the vegetables and then the marrow from the bones. So today they're going to get a chicken bone broth base in addition to turkey. That's their protein sources for today. So I've got about a th three pounds here of ground turkey. And I just break it up and cook it. While that's cooking, let me show you what I do. This, if you, again, go to that um, link to the video, these are the spoils from the bone broth the other day. And in here you'll have your vegetables, which are your carrots, um, celery, garlic, and olive herbs. I'm, you know, I'm, you know me with my herbs. All the herbs are in there, and the actual bones that have been um, pretty much melted down. So that's going to be added to the base. The other thing is, you go through your refrigerator. My, in my refrigerator this week, we have some extra spinach. We have some extra green beans, and then I took some frozen peas out of the freezer. We had some extra yellow squash. And if you looked at the other video, um, uh, Keto Rewind, she did meatballs this week. These are two meatballs that we found that were in the fridge. They're going to be added to everything, too. I always add a half a can of pumpkin, which is really good for their digestive system. And I always add one package of white rice. I don't use brown rice because brown rice is higher in sugar than white rice, and I don't want my dog having sugar. That affects their teeth, obviously, and their general health. And my favorite herbs to add, in addition to what's in here, which is parsley, rosemary, sage, and thyme, in addition to that, I will add oregano for a boost to the immunity system, and thyme, these are dry, again, as a boost to her immunity system. 
So we're just waiting now for this to cook down. Okay, if you want to get in a little closer, this is just about done. And I did, there's a little, this is was frozen. This, uh, I, this was three pounds of tube uh, ground turkey. So there was a plenty of excess in there for, for liquids. So what I do to that, all right, is I'm gonna add everything that was left over from one entire batch of bone broth. And that's gonna get added to the pot. going to get mixed in and if you can see there's plenty of there's still a lot of fluid in here and I want the liquid for a very specific reason and as you mix all that now this is an eight quart uh, stock pot so this is this is a health a healthy uh, batch and this batch will last our girls uh, almost a month probably about three weeks in all honesty so what I do at this point is I have, this is my, this is an empty bottle. It was about this much bone broth left over. So I added a little more water and I'm going to put that in there. Yeah, just till it's like soupy. We don't measure, it's, you know, it's all by he eyes here. See, it's kind of soupy. And the reason we're doing that is because that is how I'm going to cook. This is the uh, instant rice in the bag. So then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put that in there and stir that in. And I know the box says around 10 minutes. I don't cook it like that because I find if I do, the dogs are, it's just mush. You know, I'm just giving them a little more uh, nutrition with the rice. Uh, also, it does help to extend the batch too, but I'm not into serving them mush, they're, they're dogs. So that being said, um, now's a good time to add with this much um, stock in the pot, I'm probably going to add a good teaspoon of oregano. And I'm going to add a good teaspoon of thyme. That's what they're going to get. Now, other times you can add turmeric in there for them. If I don't have any pumpkin to add to the, to the mess, I will... Um, I'll add turmeric because you want the, the digestive and the uh, beta carotenes and the anti-inflammatory properties. These are especially good and especially with the bones. If you have a dog that's aging and is having some uh, joint and bone and limb issue, the extra protein, the extra calcium, uh, the marrow from the bones, in addition to the anti-inflammatory uh, properties of the vegetables and the herbs really help that your, your pooch with his on their joints. So now that that's in, my next thing is I'm going to throw in, like I said, we had a little bit of yellow squash left over this week. We had green beans and I took some organic peas out of the freezer to balance it out. There, these are the two, you can even see little bits of mozzarella. These are the mozzarella meatballs that we made this week. There were two of those left. And we had, this spinach just had started wilting. We've had spinach salad three times this week. I'm not up to four, so the dogs are gonna get the rest. Spinach, as you know, is high in vitamins um, as well as in calcium. And again, this is, we have to be, you know, conscious of the dog's bones and the skeletal system. So you put all that in there. And then last, but certainly not least, I'm going to add half of this can of pumpkin. What do I do with the rest of the pumpkin? The rest of the can will get frozen. I put it in a Ziploc bag and I freeze it. And the next time I make it, we get, I already have it. And I always buy pumpkin with nothing in it. No sugars, no oils, nothing but pumpkin. We often get it at Sprouts. They have the organic too. All right, I'm gonna let mix this and let it all cook down and I'll show you when it's all done. Okay, so now it is done. It's been about five minutes. You turn off the heat and let, let it set. And then in about five minutes, the rice, everything is done. 
And then as I said earlier, uh, this is the rest of the can of pumpkin. I put it in a Ziploc bag, I squeeze out the air and label it, and this is good to go for the next batch. While this is setting, I take that time to get my containers. And just as, <laughs> as a funny side note, you kind of want to keep, like we always use the gold containers for the dogs. And because we wound up one time defrosting food for the dogs and we wound up with breakfast for dinner that night. <laughs> and the dogs loved it, but um, we weren't planning on breakfast for dinner. And so make sure you know your containers, um, you know, set aside a color or label them. I don't label them, I just know all the gold ones belong to the dogs. So I get my station set up, I have my containers ready, and um, because it's plastic, I would never recommend putting hot food into plastic because it does leach off and we know that plastic is um, uh, carcinogenic for us. So I don't start putting them into their actual containers until the food is completely cooled. But what I do at this point, let me show you what it looks like when it is done. And want to come on in and have a look here. That's it. And you can see the rice grains. Now tell me, what dog wouldn't eat that? People, you could eat this. You know, there's nothing here. This is 100% uh, homemade, almost totally organic. Um, again, I switch out the proteins. Like next month, I might make um, beef. Uh, then I usually switch out. Sometimes I'll do beef and pork together. And um, another way of, sometimes you can get the fish, the frozen fish in bags that are like flash, flash frozen. I know up in New England where we live, I can get a bag of tilapia flash, flash frozen for $3.99 a pound. So one thing I did notice though, is that when you have a pound of fish is less in volume than like a pound of ground beef. You can, so when you do the fish, like I'll go up and if, they're, if, they're, if it's her series to switch out, I'll buy like four or five, six bags of the fish. And that, so they get the poultry, the beef, the pork, and the fish, and then it starts all over again. So then I take this now, and I will dump this into my big bowl for a better cooling. And it seems they always know when I'm cooking. They're always around here knowing that I'm making their food. So that's it. And what I will do before I package their food away, this is their, their bowls for this evening. Like I told you, it's about a quarter of a cup of a holistic kittle. And then they get about three quarters of a cup of the uh, mix-ins, we call them mix-ins. And then we do sprinkle over another additional vitamin mineral supplement. So that's it, it's easy as that. You need your proteins, you need your vegetables, you need to be conscious of the vegetables you're putting in there. Never feed a dog eggs. Uh, I go light on the garlic. If there's garlic, it will be powder or granulated, not whole garlic. Um, there is garlic in the beef broth. So just be careful, do your research, and um, you'll have a happy pooch. So that's it for today, and we'll see you. I'm Deb from Potions and Pots.